almost six in the morning. I'm running behind schedule, but I might still be able to get there in time. So I need to hop in the truck and get on the gas. If I'm successful, today is the day that I fly again. I'm here, I'm happy about that. I may have broken a traffic law or two, but I made up like 20 minutes on that drive and I'm only one minute late, which is, which is pretty much on time, right? That's good news. I gave you a little shot of that windsock so that you could see that it is super still, which is, we can fly today, I think. You know, Bo's getting ready. He's gonna go first, I'm gonna go second, which is great, I'll get to watch him. But it also means that takeoffs and landings are kind of fast because, you know, if you land into the wind, you, you know, your ground speed is slower. If you take off into the wind, your ground speed is slower. Um, a little wind would be nice, but you get what you get and <laughs> soon. So this isn't me, this is my friend Bo. So let's watch him. I think this is beautiful. Oh yeah. Well, I'm not an expert, but that looked great to me. too early I flared too early I, I don't lighted. think I let out of the flare I did do that too um, so w when you flare too early if you're thinking straight and I was this time you just hold it until it's not too early anymore then and add more I, I definitely learned from that even if I didn't nail it all right I'm really thankful that my paramotor can take a bit of a licking I'm 0 for 3 on landing so far but I'm 3-0 and and not getting hurt, so that's a thing. Um, that, that was another close takeoff. Um, I, the mistake I made on my second takeoff, if you guys watched the video, is I didn't quite get my wing above me just like I needed it to be. And like my learning from it almost went too far in the other direction. And that I really like waited for my wing to be just what I wanted it to be. And that was maybe too much, you know, before I started giving it gas. And uh, again, it was like this motor, uh, for someone my size, 200-ish pounds, um, this is a very strong motor. Like I could have gotten away with maybe a lighter one, but I think that twice now, going full throttle has saved me. So maybe I'm, you know, thankful for that. I, it's the only motor I've tried, but it's, <laughs> I keep crashing on it and it has no damage so I like that and uh, oh I'm definitely enjoying the flight more like my head is clear when I'm landing like I I, I want to say I know what I'm doing but at least I'm like fully conscious uh, 
my second landing in particular, when, when the power went out, that was the previous video, I, my IQ cut in half. You know, if Marco wasn't in my ear, it would have been terrible. This time, you know what? I landed pretty close to where, eh, I landed not too far from where I was aiming, and I had my wits about me. Even if it wasn't great, I wasn't panicked, and there's a lot, to, just some air time every time. So, that's good news. Uh, just we're about to go inside and do some like ground school we're going to review the tape the winds picked up a bit they don't love it anymore like you know we're new pilots so we really need perfect conditions but i flew and the biggest thing i i want to say on day one when i hit the sky like <laughs> I, my iq cut in half I just like, you know, I, I, it's not that I didn't know what to do, it's that, you know, sometimes I didn't think of what to do. So thankfully, you know, you've got the radio in your ear and he's talking you through it. Today, I appreciated it, but I didn't need it. You know, I, I could have done that whole same thing all by myself. And, and that feels really good. Uh, you know, we're gonna review the tape, but I think I know, actually, I know, I know. Uh, I, I flared too soon and then did the right thing. Like you don't let go of that. Flare is when you pull the brakes. I pulled them too soon, held where I was, and then pulled what brakes I had left, which is the right way to handle that, like, emergency. Um, if this was the first day, I'd have been so freaked out that I, I don't think I would have done that. Uh, that's why today Mark was comfortable with me flying solo after this, and he wasn't the first time. So, this was a huge win. Even if it was just one flight, uh, I'm so much more comfortable in the seat, so much more comfortable with the landing, just... You know, like, I'll exaggerate. I feel like on the ground, I could teach this stuff. I can't, but, you know, I, I know how to handle all the situations on the ground. As I get more seat time, I actually do it a little better than, you know, than I did before. So, uh, so yeah, next time I need to fly, yeah. I just need to find, I, I, I still want a great big airfield so that it's forgiving. But, um, yeah, it's a win. I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, it might not look like a crash landing, and it was, but damn, I, I'm getting smarter at this. Soon we're going to start running away from these landings. Oh, one more thing for those of you that saw my gimbal project video. Turns out putting a sticker on a sticker didn't stick like you think it might. And, uh, you know, it just came undone. It came undone, like in the car it was hanging off. And then as it sat here on the picnic table in the heat... It literally just fell off without anybody touching it. So it was clearly not a good idea. Not only was I going to lose, like, <laughs> this might be $400. Um, it wasn't going to work. It could hit the prop. It was just a bad decision all around to try to make it work when it doesn't stick well enough. I need to improve my mounting. But hopefully, I haven't seen the footage yet. Hopefully, uh, it's video worthy. <laughs> so that was a good experience. We, um, we went inside. He's got a computer in there. We looked at my flight footage, the landing and the takeoff, all like just, I don't know, freeze frame, break it down, what I do right, what I do wrong, you know, how to work out like it did. And uh, I don't know, I, it's been a good day. So we're gonna go to lunch. We're gonna do a little uh, like ground school over lunch and come back, I presume. So should be cool. I have just finished ground school and it's kind of a big deal. Like Marco was like, all right, Woody, I'll be watching your videos to keep updated. My relationship with Southern Skies isn't over, over. Like I come back and I get certified as a PPG2, PPG2 pilot um, after I've had at least 25 flights and stuff like that. But um, basically I'm cleared to go flying. Um, my self-evaluation is it'd be nice to have a bigger landing strip than, than my house at first, but we'll see how that goes. I'm a, I'm a new pilot. It's kind of exciting. I'm a little late. Now it's time to get in the truck, hit the gas, and get back in time for painkiller already. All right, a couple long days for me. Started the day at 5 a.m., wrapping up at midnight. Um, uh, it's time to go to bed. Maybe shower first. Shit down, so much on my mind, that's the reason I'm spitting